I always wanted to be an actress, but I always wanted to be a writer. And I ended up doing both. I've never forgotten that night when I was told I was going to be a member of the Actors Studio. It was a great workshop in New York where all the actors and directors and playwrights were from Paul Newman to Marilyn Monroe to Brando, Tennessee Williams, Albie. They were all there. And I did a lot of scenes there. People saw me and they started casting me in plays. It was an incredibly exciting beginning, which of course I've never forgotten. <laughs> It's all about the layering of details in both acting and in writing, I think. It's the most important thing. The act of writing a biography is like solving a mystery. You're always looking for clues. You never get an answer. I don't think you can ever know a person totally. And I go by Mark Twain's definition, which is a biography are the clothes and buttons of a man, but the real biography is lived in the man's head 24 hours a day, and that you can never know. When I was writing my memoir, I was reinvestigating my own life, my childhood, my past. I was 20 when my brother committed suicide. I was 24 when my father committed suicide. The impact was huge. I think I'm always drawn to originals, to eccentrics, to contradictory characters, to people who try to do amazing things in their lives. And I am drawn to tormented people, to self-destructive people, and I, I think it's in an effort to understand what I have gone through in my life. I think that's why I do it. Thank you.